south of you. They fired one bullet after another, but it didn't feel the slightest. They even used anti-tank weapons, causing part of the body, organs, and blood of 096 to be gone. But it was still able to move forward and destroy the entire team. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid class object SCP-096. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. SCP-096 shows very little muscle mass, with a preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. It has no sign of any body hair, its skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation, and it probably doesn't have pupils either. Other facial features remain similar to an average human, with the exception of the eyes. SCP-096's jaw can open to four times the norm of an average human. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall, and it doesn't seem to need food. Based on its response, the researchers are determined that 096 is very shy. It tries to stay as far to humans as possible. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, we'll call this person SCP-0961, whether it be directly, via video recording, or even a photograph. It will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately one to two minutes after the viewing, SCP-096 will begin running towards SCP-0961. It moves at 35 kilometers an hour and seems to depend on distance from SCP-0961. If it is very far away, it will be able to run very fast. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-0961's location. Upon arriving at SCP-0961's location, SCP-096 will proceed to attack and kill SCP-0961. 100% of cases have left no traces of SCP-0961. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. Then the Foundation staff will take it back to the SCP shelter. The most extreme case at present is that someone saw only a part of its picture and was also killed by it. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. In one of the audio recordings, the former commander of the recovery team said, even if they were firing it intensely, but it didn't feel anything at all. They even used anti-tank weapons, causing part of the body, organs, and blood of 096 to be gone. But it was still able to move forward and destroy the entire team. Besides, because it does not cover its face when it's running towards its target, anyone who sees it will be killed by it along the way. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of Foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, a doctor of the Foundation has also petitioned for a immediate termination of SCP-096. The Foundation has carried out several execution experiments, one of which is to send the containment tank containing SCP-096 into SCP-682's cell. 
SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It has a powerful regeneration ability and adaptability and also has the title of Immortal Body. If you want to know more about SCP-682, do click on this video. So back to the execution experiment. The screams of the two entities continue for 27 hours, at which point the noise abruptly stops. Sonar-based video feeds reveal SCP-096 severely wounded and huddled in the southwest corner, apparently upset. Feed shows SCP-682 on the north end of the room, approximately 85% of its initial mass absent. Further attempts to expose SCP-096 to SCP-682 cause it to turn away from 682, jumping in place while clawing at its face and screaming. Because 096 will only attack when people see its face, so the Foundation has long housed it in an airtight steel cube. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096's cell. Any and all photos, videos, or recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden. But it's said that an abstract painting or its cartoon image is not prohibited because it won't stimulate the emotional distress reaction of 096.